Hey guys. So do I think being an influencer is unsustainable? Um, this video might crush a lot of your dreams. This video might be too honest and I probably shouldn't post it. Uh, I just can't hold a secret anymore because... Okay, so you know when you meet someone and you kind of see red flags but you just want to be in denial because you really like this person but you already know they're gonna be a psycho bitch. You know, that's what I'm having right now because at the same time I think making content online is an amazing money maker. I just see this giant red flag in the ground that I need to share because it's just frustrating me that no one is seeing this. All right, so this video will start off with the fact that if you don't know who I am, my name's Jade. I help people grow on social media. So at the end of the day, this video might just be really bad for me because I try to encourage people to make content. So if this discourages you, I'm really sorry. Actually, no, I'm not because I think this will save you a lot of time. Basically, yesterday I was hanging out with my friends that go to high school. I dropped out of high school, so sometimes I like to just to hang out with my friends and see what's up, you know. Um, I'm not really relevant anymore, so besides the fact, I asked them what the fuck was up. And one of my friends was telling me this. Yeah, so my teacher basically said that being a content creator or YouTuber can't make money. What? Because I don't know if you're living under a rock, but there's so many millionaires on the internet that are just doing great, sweetie. They're thriving. Um... Yeah. So this teacher was basically just telling his class that you can't make money online, don't even try pursuing a career because you're gonna be broke. And that's just really frustrating to hear. But then, as I try to defend this topic more, I realize, who the fuck am I to say that? Because there are times that I'm gonna share of when I thought social media wasn't sustainable and the paycheck that I got in the mail from Google wasn't enough. There are times where I almost gave up and I didn't have a backup option because of what the fuck, I can't get employed, I don't have a diploma. There's not a lot of things that really support my argument. So why am I trying to tell everyone that making money on e online is easy? So this is where today's video comes in, where I'm gonna kind of share the three kind of main reasons why I don't think being an influencer is sustainable. But at the end of this video, you're gonna learn of how you can make it sustainable. You wanna tell your parents that this is not a phase, it's an actual career you wanna pursue, then keep on watching. All right, so I actually have <laughs> my notes for today. I'm kind of sick, you guys, so bear with me. All right, so the first thing about why I think being an influencer is unsustainable is your paycheck is literally based on your results, not about how much you work. So with that being said, you know, typically when you're at a standard job, you get paid to do a standard procedure over and over again. It's just what you do. Now, when you're someone who's an entrepreneur or you have a business, you don't get paid to work more. You get paid if you bring results, if you bring data, if you bring brand deals in, right? So it's just very, very inconsistent. So some months you can make, for example, one month I, how personal can I get? There was one point in 2018 where I made like literally $500. It's money is really hard for me to talk about, but I know this might be helpful to someone. So let me share with you guys. There are some months when I would make enough to like pay rent and go buy and there's some months where I get to fucking like travel the world so the what I'm saying is it's a blessing but it's also unsustainable where you don't know when your next paycheck is gonna happen you're just taking a huge risk and with that being said what happens is not necessarily the money part it's a problem like I generally have excitement and thrill when it comes to like money because I know that um, I can work towards it the problem I have is the mental fuck you get the fact that you have to be working, you have to hustle. If you're not grinding, you're not successful. And this culture tells us to work harder because what the fuck are you gonna do when you don't have a job, right? So like, I just feel like we have pressure on ourselves to make more money than the last month. And you have to keep working because on Instagram, Gary Vee will yell at you if you don't. And I've been there, you guys, I've been there. Like I'm actually like physically sick right now, but I can't bring myself to rest because I just feel guilty because I should be making this time to be productive. and fucking here i am making a youtube video shit but anyways besides the fact i'm not a good example about this because i'm trying to get better it's just so addicting to costly hustle because you just want to top every month each month is a competition each time you're trying to work harder you're trying to prove someone wrong and at the end of the day you just feel so tired and burnt out that's just the first thing like not the fact that you know money comes and goes the thing that i feel like people don't talk about is the mental capacity that it is it's not sustainable for your mind to always top each month to work harder than last month because you didn't get paid that much you know what i mean like that's where i feel like it's really toxic and no one really talks about all right so the second thing the fact that instagram and youtube owns your data so 
they can decide to delete your entire audience base. If you're not on the internet, you're invisible. And now a lot of you guys are, you know, saying like, Jay, like your Instagram won't delete. Social media will be, you know, forever. Now hold up, Sally. Okay, that's what I thought. I have a friend named Cameron. He had, he had 84,000 followers on Instagram. Not even that. He built a company on his social media and he's employing people. He's, you know, people are dependent on him for income. He's making a brand. Love that. But Facebook deleted his Instagram account and wiped out this entire business he built. Ah! Okay, I don't know about you, but just imagine Instagram or YouTube just one day just hitting delete and all the content you built is gone. I know it's rare to happen, but it literally happened to my friend Cameron, so it could literally happen to you. So this is where I think Instagram or YouTube is not sustainable because uh, we don't own our data. We can be invisible to the audience we create content for like that. It's just scary to think that not a lot of people are thinking about, you know, converting their followers into email lists or taking their audience and converting it into, you know, their own traffic and own data, which I'll get into later. It happens to more people than you think. All right, the last third thing, fact that being an influencer is not sustainable because you are alone. So here's a personal story. I left high school with a lot of people to prove wrong or so i thought uh, i have to prove my teachers my friends because i dropped out of high school and it was the right decision so you know what let me show you this idea that i need to work hard and build a bigger brand just because i need to show that this was the right decision is where i feel like you get really isolated because when you're trying to prove everyone wrong you just kind of put yourself in a room and just put your head down to work you edit your videos you know you just don't really talk to anyone you just like do it let me tell you that's what i did for a year like when my parents would go out, I would just be in the garage, you know, editing YouTube videos. So in the very beginning, it's fucking hard. But the moment you start scaling your business, you know, doing it alone will kill you. I don't want to give up creative freedom. So why would I get an editor? You know? But I realize it's crucial for me to grow. It's crucial for me to take that time and use it on what's more important, which is the strategy and like the vision. Because if you're constantly implementing, you're working not on your business to working in your business. And I feel like that's what can kill you because the minute you just start being your own employee kind of defeats the purpose of building a brand because you wanna be your own boss. You wanna fucking buy a Lamborghini and do your shit. Um, and this just kind of brings it to my last point and just to wrap it all up. Like, I feel like the fact that we're constantly trying to prove people wrong, maybe we're, I don't know, fucking afraid that Instagram's gonna delete our data just makes us really makes me question if this is really gonna work out and maybe i'm in a dark place right now because i'm sick <laughs> comment below if you want to hear a story time of these more personal situations i don't know if it's valuable i'm encouraging you not to be afraid about the idea that it's not sustainable i just want you to be aware that it's a possibility and i feel like people are just like being too optimistic and aren't saying the truth and i just want to be fucking honest if you want to make youtube videos and build a career because you see it happen for a lot of people then fucking do it but realize it's not just lollipops and candy sometimes you can get really really burnt out and i want to let you know that i'm here for you uh, i think one of the things i'm just super excited to just talk about is the fact that i don't think we're alone anymore where i really wanted to kind of bring a solution and leave off is this so yes maybe making solely content isn't sustainable but an entrepreneur and a business person with attention fuck yeah it is the best like example i have of this is jeffrey star you know he's a makeup artist that makes youtube videos but he also has a cosmetic brand he invests he has property maybe this entire social media thing is you know unsustainable like that teacher said you know physically monetarily but the truth is if you make some money and you invest it to the right spots and you keep going and you don't give up I think this is such a fucking sustainable idea. People who have college degrees still can't get an employed job. It's just super saturated and competitive with the rise of technology. You know what? No one's fucking safe. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for a sign to start your channel or to just fucking go after your dreams, do it. You don't have anything to lose. All right, so that might be really much, but you guys get what I'm saying. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like this, but like robots and technology can automate your job, which kind of just boils down to this point that Sometimes not taking a risk is the biggest risk you can take because yes, I just named three points that might scare the shit out of you. People that have regular sustained jobs also have their own problems. So there's really no way to escape this. And I just feel like being acceptant of where we are and how good we have it and just being fucking thankful is so important. I know this video might sound like I'm complaining. I mean, truly am not. I'm so thankful you guys are here. I want you guys to take a risk. You know what, just go out there and try it out and realize that there is a possibility of failure, but without risk, 
what's the point i feel like that's the reason why we do what we do is because we know that it might not work of going there and the process is why we love it and that is called fucking passion all right guys thanks so much for watching this rant if you like this video give this video a like subscribe for more typically don't make these videos but if you'd like to stay along for the journey i'd be really appreciative of it and i'll catch you guys in the next one shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode comment below when you thought being an influencer wasn't sustainable and let me know if this video was helpful i truly want to encourage anyone who wants to start a career because you should never let anyone tell you no i've been told no so many times from my teachers and from my friends that when I dropped out of school last year, I was just like, fuck it. All right, guys, I love you so much. Darma Nation, we're ripping the merch. I can't wait to reply to every single comment. Let's chat. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.